Hi, this is John, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a washing machine application taken from Chapter 9 of the book Programmable Microcontrollers with Applications using the MSP430 Launchpad by Mr. Zun Salon and Girhan. Now, I made several modifications to the application in that book. I went ahead and took the chip off of the Launchpad and I put it onto a breadboard. So the first thing you need to do if you're ever going to put the chip onto a breadboard or any other place other than the Launchpad you're going to need a 47 kilo ohm resistor. And that uh, resistor needs to go from the positive voltage to the reset pin of the chip. No matter what you do, you got to do that because the, the, it just won't work without it. Um, when it's on the launch pad, when the chip is on the launch pad, that's already hardwired into the launch pad, so you never even have to think about it. And so it, if it takes you a while to figure out what's wrong, you might need that 47 kilo ohm resistor. I have that set up to a reset button. So if ever I want to reset any application or program that I'm working on, I just hit the button and then it resets. Another modification that I made uh, to be able to use the chip on a breadboard is I added my own power supply. When the chip is on the launch pad, it gets its power from the USB port. But on the breadboard, I'm using this 9 volt battery. The chip only takes 3.3 volts and the 9 volt is 9 volts. So I'm using this LM317 voltage regulator to step that voltage down from 9 volts to the 3.3 volts that the chip uses. So on this rail is the full 9 volts from the 9 volt, and on these two rails is 3.3 volts that the LM317 regulator is giving me. So let's go ahead and talk about the application and, and the hardware that I'm going to be using. As I said before, I'm using the M430G2553 chip, and I have a couple of LEDs that are, are signifying the state of the washing machine and some resistors to control the current going to those LEDs. I also have a couple of push buttons. That is the on and off push button and the speed control push button for the washing machine. These capacitors are debouncing capacitors to help with the debouncing of these buttons. And I have some uh, regular push buttons that control uh, what type of wash, excuse me, I want. This side is the normal length wash, and this is the extended length wash. And this is the ULN 2003 motor controller. And the motor that it controls is the 28 BYJ-48 5 volt DC stepper motor. Got that on Amazon, they're pretty regular, everybody uses them, Arduino fans, Raspberry Pi fans are just really popular motors, easy to get. It's pretty decent for, uh, for the hobbyist. And so th those are the basic hardware components of the washing machine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it started. So right now I have my switch. I'm going to go ahead and turn my power on. I'm going to use the power on push button, the LED. Light goes on, power on, off, power on, power off, power on. Now the speed control. Slow speed, normal speed. Slow, normal. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on normal speed, and I'm going to demonstrate the normal length one way. So it's spinning like a spin cycle, anything to rinse the clothes out. This is the normal length two ways, like a regular wash, douche, 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 going both ways. This is the extended length both ways. And I know you're thinking, washing machine. Oh, I thought it was going to be faster. So did I. Um, just that this, this stepper motor just does not go very fast. It's, I guess it's meant for precision control um, rather than uh, blatant speed. But it gets the job done, as you can see, going both ways. I'm going to go ahead and put the slow uh, speed on. I'm going to use slow one direction. As you can see, it is going slow, much slower in that one direction, the speed of which of both slow and uh, and fast is being controlled by the software. And so in my software, which you know, I really can't open up and talk about in this video, um, I'm going to put a, maybe a link in it later to see, so to show everybody what I got, is what controls the speed and uh, what action these push buttons take. So in a nutshell, that's basically the washing machine application. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments, and have a good one.